Last week we started our road trip to St. Louis, but we didn't get very far before we had a few bumps in the road. Okay, so we are on the side of the road and our tire popped, so we're trying to figure out how we can keep going. Join us today as we find out if we have to abandon our trip and go home, or if we find a way to make it happen. So we are on the side of the road and our tire popped on the camper. It's a Sunday, so we're trying to figure out <coughs> what to do. Or do we just go home and get it looked at tomorrow? Or we're, so we're trying to figure that out. But when it popped, I thought Josh did really good. It didn't like go out of control or anything. I've seen some pretty bad things. We're just trying to all stay chill and calm as we see all these other RVs drive by. Okay, quick update, but we have found a place, cause like I said, it's a Sunday, everything is closed. We have found a place that is open. We called, they actually have only four of our tires in stock, which we've been, knew that was a, something we wanted to get replaced, but we hoped we had a little more time. So we're, we have to see if we can get there in time for them to change our, to just replace all four. They said, the, the guy was super nice. He said that they can probably get it done is if we can get there ASAP. Um, they might have to do it in the parking lot because they're totally full. So anyway, um, we're just gonna keep you posted. I wish this was something we were making up for like clickbait or I don't know, but this is our first real trip out with the camper. The last one was like an hour away. So I don't think we're gonna make it to St. Louis by three. Okay, like I said, we're on the side of the road. I just wanted to show you guys the tire because it is shredded. So you can see, it just totally blew out. Josh has the, the jack or the stabilizers down. We can actually get it to that place in time. I mean, it'll take us a whole day, but at least we can get all four tires redone, which we plan to do anyway, and then maybe get on the road and save this trip. Okay, me again. We have made it to the tire shop. It was, I think, the longest six minutes of my life. We just put on the tire. I showed you guys that. But the tire, that the spare tire looked, I don't know, like, not dry rot, but like, I don't know, it looked really gross. So I was really worried that we wouldn't even make it there. But now they're actually working on it in the parking lot right there. We're getting all four tires done and we're really, just, I mean, just so grateful that Josh was able to pull the car over, that we were able to find a place that our tires, that magically the lug nuts on our SUV are the same as the camper, like so many different blessings. And now we're just waiting. It could be a several hours because they're working us in. Um, so we'll just have to see, but we made it here safe and the dogs are getting their wiggles out. Hopefully the kids are getting their wiggles out. And then we'll be on our way. We we're hoping to be at the KOA by three o'clock. Now we're hoping maybe nine. Um, 
I don't actually know, who knows? But we've got a long way to go, four or five hours we're thinking. So it was a little more eventful uh, than we planned, but we're still, we're still very grateful and blessed to be where we are. Tell me what we're doing. We are waiting for our camper to be fixed. What, what happened to it, Griff? Uh, we popped a tire. Yeah, were we just sitting there and it popped or what were we doing when it popped? Driving. Huh? Driving. Yeah. Driving. And Heavenly Father blessed us after we prayed and so we didn't go and crash. Right. Like usually people do. Yeah. They what are you excited to do when we get there? Pool! Jump into the pool! Gamble. Yeah. Shade? I'm excited to play in the pool with my cousin Peyton. Aiden, how's it going? Mm -hmm. How's the trip going so far? Oh, we don't have, we lost Tayshawn. He's we in lost. outer space. He took a space pod and said, nope. Nope. I'm leaving. Honey, do you have anything to say about our experience so far? Chase, this tiny pretty. thing right here has a minute. Yeah. I'm glad we're alive, Chase. It's the very top of the tree. Once we arrived at our campsite at the Eureka, Missouri KOA, we didn't do a lot of filming. We soaked up time with our family that we don't get to see very often and made connections with new family members we hadn't met yet. It was so much fun to see the kids get to play with their cousins. They spent time at the pool and even got into some mischief at the playground. If you haven't already, we would love it if you take a second and click the like button. It really helps get our content out there for more people to see. We'd also love it if you click the subscribe button so you can follow us on our adventure on being a big family on a small budget working to make it happen. You are not going to want to miss next week when we adventure into the City Museum at St. Louis, Missouri. This is an adventure like none other, and you are not going to want to miss a minute of it.